you do it with your teammates you, you, you fight as one like no um, it's that passion and like literally going to war with your, with your mates that's what it is in some ways so yeah whatever you're missing uh, because of corona or covid or whatever you want to call it just don't call it the Chinese virus because that's not really what it is um, but yeah if it's affecting you in some way just look forward to what you can get back to after hey guys what's going on it's your boy Louisy21 back again with a better and bigger video than what I attempted to do at the beginning of this um, upload as you saw um, feeling better about it today that day I wasn't in the right mood or frame of mind to do that video um, but here we are um, fresh on a new day I got my fresh haircut I hope you guys are feeling alright doing alright as simple as a haircut literally just makes me feel better anyway on with the video and I'm going to talk about my passion for Pacha football and the connection between that and my newfound passion for NBA and basketball all their legends from past and present but yeah if you don't know much about basketball it doesn't matter because you'll still get this video and enjoy what I'm trying to say and the message I'm trying to put across um, so, in 2008, the Boston Celtics, um, they weren't favourites to win the NBA championship, but they went and did it anyway with coach Doc Rivers, who employed a South African philosophy um, called Mbutu, which means, you know, to play as one, to be as one. From seeing that, I thought, like, okay, it's similar in Pacha football because. We are a team, but we play as one. And when we play as a team, as a unit, regardless of individual ability, we do better as a team. And that is it. And the phrase of um, our team is stronger together. And we're really looking for a philosophy to get behind that. You know? And obviously, I haven't been able to play football, um, you know, since... I haven't played a competitive game since February, you know? Apart from having a kickabout in a car park, I haven't been in the chair since then. I haven't played a competitive game for much longer than that. You know, I mean, I've really learned that you don't miss anything until it's gone or you can't do it, for example. In my case, Padger football. Um, I never thought I'd miss it so much. In the summer, sometimes, to be honest, some seasons I'm like, okay, it's over, I can chill now until next season. And I look forward to it, and that's it. But now I'm really missing it. I'm missing that fight, the adrenaline you get in every game, fighting alongside your teammates, and the club, you know, in general, as a whole, it's like a second family. Because you see these people week in, week out. And so I saw this documentary called The Playbook on Netflix about the Boston Celtics in 08 when they won the championship. And the philosophy in Butu that they used. Don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but anyway, so they won in 2008. They used this philosophy and it really galvanized the players and made them play as one. I mean, this word in Butu is, is a Zulu word that translates to I am because you are. It literally means that a person is a person through other people. And as a team, like one person scores a goal, it's a team effort. The team got that goal, you know what I mean? Yeah, as an individual you feel great, but it's about the team at the end of the day. Not just the winning and the losing and all that, but the, being, the, the togetherness. They're doing it together, not on your own. Because in life there's so many things that people think they have to face alone. Some things you do and you have to take responsibility for what you do, but 
when it comes to a team game, it's about the team. And I'm just going to read exactly what I found on Google about the word Mbutu. Um, so it envelops the key values of group, solidarity, compassion, respect, human dignity, well, conformity, that's a bit different um, to what we do, but uh, to basic norms and collective unity. We're not normal, but um, the collective unity is there, definitely. Um, in its fundamental sense, it denotes humanity and morality. Its spirit emphasises respect for human dignity, making a shift from confrontation to conciliation. I don't know if conciliation is what we do, but... And confrontation is definitely what we do. So in some ways it, it doesn't directly link. But seeing the way Coach Rivers adopted this philosophy with the Boston Celtics, it was inspirational and there's been a lot of great teams in basketball over the years. Uh, the San Antonio Spurs, you know, when, when they won it in 2014, a lot of people doubted them, but they still won it. Um, with a team effort. Individually, of course, they had Tim Duncan, Parker and other players and Kawhi Leonard, but it was the team effort that won them the game because they beat LeBron James's Miami Heat at the time, you know, and it's inspirational. So you think about that and you think, okay, the memories I made over the years, I've got more of them to make when COVID's done. Whenever that is, who knows? You know, don't lose faith just because at the moment you can't see a month into the future, you don't know what's going on. You don't know, but after the last eight months, or however long it's been, you don't know what's going to happen. And it's that fear of the unknown. But I just think back to the patch of football and the memories it gives me over the years, the ups and downs. Because without the bad, there's not the good. Without the games we've lost, there wouldn't have been the games we've won. The immense highs, the immense lows. A bit like life too. Because, you know, with the good comes the bad. If you forget the good, you forget the bad, bad or vice versa. If you, something in the past. But I'm not saying lit, but just don't, don't dwell on the past, but it's there. And it's what makes you who you are now. You know, I mean, when it comes to football, part of football, nothing really compares in life. And then watching the way these basketball players see the game, um, they asked one of them, you know, what did you do that won you the game? He's like, what did we do? Not you, not me. It's we, like, as a team. And you see how uh, they love their sport and players that are playing for years on end. That, the amount of years Kobe played was amazing. RIP. I mean, it just makes you think, like, what we lost there, what the human race lost. I mean, like, for me, with Paracho football, it's not a hobby, it's really a way of life that I've known since 2007. That's a long time. And, uh, you know, I appreciate um, not being alive but living. Not just like being alive but living, you know. Uh, because lockdown stops you living. You're just going through the motions every day, trying to keep upbeat somehow through this pandemic back to football and besides the social side obviously is great but the thing I miss the most is the goosebumps when you step out on that pitch or drive out on that pitch um, before every game I get that however many years I've been playing whatever game it is you get those goosebumps that adrenaline that rush that makes you appreciate it so much more because nothing like I said nothing compares Nothing I do in my day to day life ever. Even YouTube, I'm afraid. Maybe YouTube sometimes, but the goosebumps I get before a game. I get the satisfaction, yeah, when I make a video and I put it out there, upload it, share it on Instagram, that's good. But nothing compares to football. And I'm missing that for my life. And there's nothing that can replace that. Um, and that's a gift and a curse. Um, I'm glad I've got something like that. Because not everyone does, and maybe maybe people haven't found it yet. But that's that, that's what does it for me. And I'm missing that in my life since 
since January, February, you know. And we, we had one of the best seasons so far. And yeah, we stopped the season and we got, we got fifth place. It's not like we were gonna wait and then continue. We just stopped it there. And we got fifth place, I think. Which we'll take, for, considering, considering the situation. And we'll go again whenever we get back to it. Whenever that is. And I'm gonna be more ready than ever. Yeah, people are going to be rusty, getting used to being in their chairs again, but I'm going to be more ready than ever. And I'm going to give 100%, obviously I always do, but I'm going to be ready to do that every game now, having missed it for so long. But yeah, guys, whatever it is you're missing, um, you, will be able, you should be able to get back soon. From my point of view, yeah, and yeah, maybe I'm too positive. I don't know, but is that a bad thing? You know? Is, I, don't, I don't feel it is. But we'll see what the future holds. But that's my outlook on it. As, as negative as people could see this year. I've been busy, I've done a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of things in myself I've improved on. And time to get back to football. And I feel like I'm going to be a better player because I've been watching so many old videos of football and uh, past games of our England team and stuff um, just to keep in that mindset yet again at the end of another video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've taken something and it's helped you get through a difficult time that we're all still going through you're not alone, you're not the only one just know that and then you should be fine guys um, so yeah, take it easy and that is it from me guys peace Thank you.